let the girls get to do the easy stuff, I'm gonna go in the shop and do some real heavy lifting. Easy. Welcome back to 9 to 5 to Life. Today we are installing insulation in our steel building. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install this. Uh, this is a closed cell, three inch R15 insulation. These four by eight sheets of foam is just under $60 a piece. I had to buy 35 four by eight sheets of three inch and um, six four by eight inch and a half. I'm gonna put the four by eight inch and a half in the garage doors. I'm gonna be able to cut it and put it in there because a three inch will not fit between the slots, if you know what I mean. Why don't you just get it spray foamed? Spray foam is the way to go. You'll never have to mess with it again. Spray foam is the way to go. Why not just use spray foam? I'll tell you why. I contacted the person that does, or the company that does spray foam in the upper peninsula of Michigan, around the whole areas, and I contacted other people. The price of spray foam and installation has gone way up, way up. At price to do this, the walls and ceiling at $16,000 at only two inches of spray foam insulation, $16,000. And we've got a um, 28 by 38 garage here. That's just crazy to me. And it's a lot of spray foam, but for $16,000 when I can spend $2,500 on the foam to do the walls, and then probably about the same to do the, when I get the insulation for the ceiling, saving roughly $10,000. And yeah, I got a, some labor involved that I have to do, but totally worth it, totally worth it. 10,000 is a lot of money. So before I can just go slap up that insulation, I have to go around, I'm gonna start with this wall. I have to go around and prep the wall. So you wanna make sure you have no nails. You don't want any nails sticking up or anything else. You want everything nice. You don't wanna be ripping your insulation before you even get it up. Wow, kids, you almost got it whooped out there, huh? Oh, this is the most wood I've stacked while doing insulation in the garage in a long time. That's very important, especially when you got kids. They're noisy. Always a great idea just to go through one more time when you think you have all the nails out and kind of just rub along it with something because you never know. We're gonna see the best, our best scenario of how this thing's gonna fit. So we gotta cut less. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that by me putting this directly up against this wood, Right here, it's gonna cause, when the heat gets heated up inside the building, it's gonna cause sweat between here and here. The reason it is not is because this isn't directly up against the metal, it's on top of the wood, right? And these ridges on all this sheet metal run all the way up to the top and all the way to the floor and out. So it's vented, I'll show you. Down here, you can see daylight out there. So that's air coming up through here, under here. So between the here and here, it's going to be having nice cool air. It's gonna keep this nice and cool. All the way up underneath all these, all the way up there. And on the other side of the two by four, you see the light through there? It is all wide open, okay? I mean, it's vented. It's all vented all the way up. It's vented all down through the ridge. The whole ridge, center ridge cap area, that's all vented. We're only going up to the bottom of these trusses. All up in the attic is going to be open to breathe, the outside air. And this stuff is so thick that the heat's not going to really get through. I'm gonna seal it up really good. You'll see in the video. I want it sealed so tight that I can fart and be able to smell it in a week. I mean, I don't wanna be able to smell it in a week, but I want it to be airtight in here, okay? okay. 
So I made a huge purchase and bought me a insulation knife. It was 16 bucks. Probably get it cheaper on Amazon, but I like to support my local hardware and pay triple. But supposedly they saw through nicely, do a straight line and all that good stuff. But if I had an electric fillet knife, I bet it'd work really good. Dang. Ugh. So it's not as cool as one might think. Maybe I do it this way. So yeah, I'm not too sure it's the best way to cut this stuff. Half tempted to bust out my chainsaw. Chocolate muffins, two of them for me? Cool. Thanks, chocolate cake. Organic, homemade. Well, they got two rows of wood stack. I don't even have one sheet of insulation up yet. Crazy. Guess what? Nail, three inch insulation. Yeah. Yeah, always. Check your stuff yourself. Now I gotta kinda stop in my tracks. Kid's gonna have all the wood stacked. I'm not gonna have one piece of insulation up and they're gonna tease me for a long time. They're gonna make fun of me. <sighs> Lovely. You're on your third row already? That's how many insulation pieces I got put up. None. Yeah, lucky guess. Thanks Menards. Hi. So you only have how many cord of wood left? Twelve. Twelve. That's it. Heck, maybe if it all fits in here good, we can uh, get 20 more, huh, Haley? Mm-hmm. Okay, Talia, we are rolling. One, two, three, testing. Can you hear our brand new microphones? Testing, one, two, three. Yeah. So my lovely assistant, Talia, here is going to help me. What we're doing is we're using this Loctite PL three times stronger than the ordinary adhesive to just kind of put a little bead between the two because if you notice there's no board behind here it's not going to matter at all because we're going to have metal roofing type tin siding screwed through this to the two by fours behind it when it's all done so we really don't need that many fasteners holding this down fasteners that hold this down are just there to hold it until we get the metal in ready yes just a little layer Simple bead like that will just help kind of keep it so no air comes through there. Now we got one time, Talia, like once we stick it, we can't let it slide back down, all right? Yep. No pressure. Here we go. You gotta keep it tight up against the wall. Don't put your fingers up above it. And, all right, come in the middle and hold her right up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some screws in her. Looks like right here on the A. Don't let it go still, all right? Come on, Talia, reach it. <laughs> Don't drop it or bang the corner. All right, so we have to cut a long piece off this one. 
17, that's 18. So we'll do 17 and three quarters. Long ways, ready? 17 and three quarters. Hold it just like that, all right? Mm -hmm. Haley, I need you to hold it just like, actually, no, I want you to go in the middle of it and pick it straight up in the air. Come on, Nessa. Pick it straight up in the air in the middle of it and then let loose. Don't let loose until you're straight up in the air. Let go. <laughs> Boom, Haley! Okay, so initially I got this uh, little saw for cutting styrofoam. Well, come to find out, this ordinary wood saw, hand saw, old timer hand saw, works awesome. This thing might work better when I get to the inch and a half stuff, but for this three inch stuff, this hands down cuts a straight line because you can keep it lined up with it. Works awesome, I'll show you. Just so this end don't break off, Talia, you stay right there in the middle. Haley, I need you to go over there. Hey, Talia, put one hand here, the other hand over there. Yep, press down hard. Just make sure this doesn't fall, Haley. Just hold it up level with that side, okay? Just like that. That way it don't break this corner off before I get it all the way cut, all right? Now when you get to the edge, you go carefully, slower down, lighter weight, have your knee holding the styrofoam a little bit. You want a clean cut, lightly, no pushing, clean cut on the edge so you don't have a chunk. Just like that. Nice. All right, this should fit, hopefully. Oh wait, we still gotta cut the end off, 89 and a quarter. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Grab that square over there, Talia. This one does wonders. So, you see how it's like this? It's not gonna be straight unless it's flat up against here. This thing right here has to be flat up against this line. As long as you're on a straight edge, this thing will be straight. So that's how you know you're going exactly straight across. Don't you, didn't I show you that on our build that we're doing? Maybe it was Autumn that I showed her, or Haley. See, that's what happens when you don't take your time. You just kind of, too fast. So you break a little chunk off. When you reuse this piece later, then you gotta worry about a chunk messing. So anyway, I just did that purposely so I could show everybody. This thing will go down here. Like this. I'm just gonna. For the next wall, gotta make sure we get all the nails out. Talia, you see this? Yeah. Can you do that on yeah. all those? Yeah. Pull it. Pull it! Yeah! You got it all by yourself? Yep. Pull it. The leverage is up here farther, okay? So if you have to move this hand up a little bit farther, you get more power. Leverage. Get it! Come on! Pull it! Oh. Yeah! See, my grandpa always told me with enough leverage, he could move the world. Oh wow, so these actually come all the way through. That was weird. Why? Perfecto! Now, normally you wear safety glasses, but since I'm standing up on top of a ladder right now, I'm pretty safe. I had my eyes closed the whole time. Now girls, you never do that at home. Always wear safety glasses because of why? Because it could hit your eyes. And you only have two. Once you only have one, then you gotta live the rest of your life like, ooh, very careful, because you only got one eye. You lose that eye, you're gonna have to look, see out of your nostrils, and that'd be hard to do. <sighs> yeah. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, we'll be able to get it squeezed in there, barely. Hmm. Yeah, that'll fit. So yes, the insulation will be covering all the wiring. And we are not gluing the insulation to our metal or our wood. We're just putting screws in it. It's all screws, no nails. When we go to put the metal, um, this kind of metal siding, roofing type stuff, over top of it, it'll be screwed to it. If we ever have an electrical issue or anything that we have to do, we can just unscrew the, wall, the pieces of metal, take it off, pull out our pieces of, or unscrew our pieces of foam. Seems it's not glued to anything. We'll be able to lay it down, do any repairs, but we're kind of hoping and looking and making sure everything looks good before we do all this so we don't have to redo it. And is it a fire hazard? Ugh. Isn't everything. All right, 90 and three quarters, right? Is that what it said? Oh, Let's do this one more time right here. One more time right there. These three inches at a time. 90 and three quarters. Yeah. Hold her steady. Boom, shakalaka. Easy, look at that, smooth and easy. Nope, kind of, <laughs> kind of hard as a rock. All right, we gotta go up over top of this. <laughs> Don't drop that. Not. Hold on a minute. Oh. Good thing it's light. Hold on. What? I can't see over here. Right, let's do this way. The ropes yeah, in the way. The ropes in the way. What's in the way? The rope was. Alright, hold on. Just hold it right there. Come right in the middle real quick. Just hold her right there a second. Hey. Hold her. Push it up. What? Mark all these boards. <laughs> Talia, you were supposed to do that job. And what'd you do? You went and played with the chicken instead. How no. do you know where this all goes? You didn't tell me to do it. See how I marked these boards, like a line here. Whoosh, whoosh. And I marked lines here where those boards are. But at least we know there's a line here, there's a board there. All right, anyway, Talia, I need you to hold this up in the middle so it don't fall. All the way up. All right. Don't let go, Talia. Kidding, don't let go. <laughs> oh, you're so, so funny. There's one. Don't let go. Um, right here? Right there? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Yeah. only got one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Eminem. Sorry. You may be thinking by now, Chad, the air is going to blow through the cracks where you hook the two together. You need to put something there. Well, I know. Check this out. So I bought a whole case of this stuff. Pest block even, so the bugs won't like it. 10 bucks each. This right here is foam. It's a gray foam, reusable, so you don't only have to use it one time. It's got a little thing right here where I can stick in the cracks. Even though we glued it, I still want to put a quick thing of foam through there and then like between the wood and all that before I put the sheet metal on. Don't push hard. Stand back. Now keep it angled a little bit so you're in, staying on the line. You're starting to go a little this way. You need to stay on the line, all right? Mm -hmm. 
keep it straight with a line, okay? Go really slow when you get to the end. You don't want it to break off. Okay. Easy, easy. Look at that, Talia! Here like this. Look at that. I can't even tell that wire's in our way. Hold on. So pull your end out a little bit until I get all the way up. up, Ray Charles, twin sister. Shouldn't say that. People get offended. Alright, that. Maybe just like so. Down right. On your line. Now down below it. Alright. Hold it tight. Alright, Tom, I need to pick it straight up. Now look at it. Straight up and let loose. Straight down. Just let her loose. Right now. Let her go. Boom! Holy 15 lines, Thailand! Come on now! Healing did it better. <laughs> Trying to split the difference with the lines seems to have made 15 lines. Mine's almost crooked as Talia's. Oops. Why do I do it every time? All right. Wait, we didn't cut our length yet. Smooth. Let's see if it's gonna fit in there real quick before we put any glue on it. We're gonna slide the top in first, like this. Just like that, and then we're gonna try to... Maybe. take out all these nails for me because she's just bored and wants something to do. There's only, what, 500 of them in that section. I think the next section don't have as many, but I'll get the ones up top. Yep, and we'll just keep going. We'll probably quit recording until we are got this whole side done, and that way we can come back so we're not boring you all to death and uh, show you our progress. Dang. We're filling this right up in here. 